I know some of you have already written a comment down below telling me that I have completely lost my mind trying to run, or more like walk freaking the Witcher 3, on the bay trail, but guess what, I don't care about what you think. Because, if you guys don't know, this channel is not only intended to be a helping guide for those looking to play some games on their bad seller and laptop, but it's also intended to be an entertainment channel. Because, well, sometimes it's quite fun to see how extremely crappy hardware struggles to run something that it was never intended to run in the first place, and since I'm pretty sure my Lenovo IdeaPad laptop with Intel Celeron N2840 was not exactly built to run one of the most hardware demanding games of 2015, why not see how it walks instead? Now here's a main menu of the game, as you can see, it actually runs really well, I mean this looks so beautiful, look at that. Now here are the main settings, of course every single thing is lowered down, and I will be walking it in 1024x768, which is the lowest resolution allowed by the game by default. On top of that, I'm also using this mod, since, let's just say that, trying to walk the game with the stock low settings alone would be asking a bit too much from our atom bomb graphics. Here's how to apply the mod. Of course download it first from the link that I will provide in the description. Also make sure to create an Nexus Mods account in order to be able to download it. Next go to your The Witcher 3 directory. TW3. And now here's the mod. Just paste all of its content aside from the readme file like that. Now let's go back to the game. If you have done everything right, an ultimate graphics options menu should appear in the video menu, in the ultimate graphics options. Make sure that absolutely everything is lowered down. Alright, let's finally see how it walks. Apparently that's how The Witcher 3 walks on the Intel HD graphics bay trail, yeah, those very smooth 4 FPS are definitely something to behold, and as for the graphics, well, this looks more like a generic Roblox RPG game rather than The Witcher 3, and Geralt's outfit is looking kinda purple thanks to the mod, I'm honestly surprised that it doesn't crash, or actually I'm surprised the game even loads with this hardware. But yeah, this isn't exactly the greatest experience ever, am I right? Also sorry if I scared you with that Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny thing here short while ago, but well, Halloween is coming soon, so I guess it was fair to prepare you for it in a way I guess. Fun fact, there's actually a way to make the game run at a lower resolution than 1024x768, and I will show it right now, since this is just extremely, extremely awful. Go to documents. The Witcher 3. In the Witcher 3 folder, open the user.settings file with notepad. Now change this resolution value right here to whatever terrible resolution you want. I will go with 640x400, as it's a pretty low resolution in its own right, not to mention it's a widescreen one, in order to run this game in a lower resolution than 1024x768. We also have to make it run in windowed borderless mode, which you can easily do from the config file by just changing the full screen mode value below from 2 to 1, and that's basically it. Well you can also lower your desktop resolution, if you want full screen gameplay, or at least if you don't want the game to look small on your screen.
Now let's go back to the game and see if it walks faster at 640x400 with this iGPU. Well guess what, it still runs like shit, to nobody's surprise, not to mention that this is not even an intensive area actually, though I guess when looking up the sky we can actually catch double digit FPS, and if you're wondering why I'm using fraps instead of MSI afterburner, it's because MSI afterburner caused the game to crash after a minute or so, and I forgot to mention that I'm also using the memory reduct app to free up some additional RAM for the game to use, after all I only have 4GB of RAM, but yeah, it still runs terribly, though it is still better than before for sure. 8 FPS is better than 4 FPS, so technically the FPS practically doubled from before. This is great actually lol, just kidding it's not. Also did I mention there's quite a bit of stuttering, I guess it's caused by the CPU, or the RAM, or I guess everything in the laptop. Now let's try to wander around for a little bit, cause, well, we've got to appreciate that this game even loads on the Intel Celeron N2840 and the Intel HD graphics bay trail, am I right? Oh god please don't crash. Never mind it's just typical stuttering. Just the greatness that my laptop delivers in this game. Also I think Roach has teleportation skills. Let's see that. Did you see how quickly he reached me?
Yeah, 8 FPS indeed sucks, which means that I will have to proceed to the last resort, and it involves running the game in that 1 200 resolution. I really wanted to take a break from that one ultra low resolution, but in this case I will unfortunately have to do it, so let's go. Damn, you can now barely even make out what the text says. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Witcher 3 at 200p, I will keep my desktop resolution at 400p, because I'm really scared of lowering it to 200p to match the epic resolution that we are currently running this game at, so I'm going to zoom in. There we go, and I have to announce to you, that we achieved double digit average FPS, so we can officially say, that it's now finally running and no longer walking, in fact this is currently running better than something like Battlefield 3 surprisingly, despite being an 11 year old game as of 2022, it runs slight worse than this even at 200p, and also Fortnite, but only the Battle Royale mode, or CSGO for example, that's right, these two games is optimization is so broken at this point, that The Witcher 3 runs better than both of them with the Celeron N2840, okay, enough with the irony, and Let's be real honest, why would you want to play The Witcher 3 like this, like, just look at this mess, you would have a much better RPG experience with these specs in, I don't know, Morrowind, Oblivion, or even The Witcher 1. Skyrim is also playable on the Intel Celeron N2840, but The Witcher 3, please avoid downloading it at any cost if you use the Intel HD graphics bay trail. Even if what you're currently seeing looks playable according to your extremely low standards, just trust me, you're going to save so much of your free time. Anyways, I know this is not the kind of video most of my followers currently want to see. In fact the reason this video exists in the first place is because I just so happened to have this game downloaded on my external hard drive, and during my free time I found out that it actually loads on my Celeron. So I thought why not make a video on it for the laughs, and that's honestly all I have to say in this video. I think I'm going to end it with some more gameplay at 200p. However feel free to leave the video if you want. Thanks for watching, and I will see you people of the internet in the next video.